Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making um, Ron. Um, this will be part one of two parts. Um, so today we will be making, he will look like this. We'll be doing um, his arms first and then we'll start at his head, work our way down, attach the arms, do the body and then move on to the legs all in one piece so he will be no so except for this little piece and his little eyebrows part two will be um his little robe and his scarf and that will be linked down in the description below as well as any one of these um, once they're all completed. This video is a crochet along, so I will be doing every stitch with you along the way. So, if, But if you get stuck or lost or there's something that um, you just don't understand that I've done, you can always go back and along the top for the first 15 seconds of every row, there will be a drop down and um there may be a few mistakes i made so if you do catch something look up there and i've probably corrected it in editing don't forget if you like this video um to hit the subscribe button and you will be notified when i load other videos um as well if you want to give it a like or if you want to leave a comment that helps me out a lot um I think that's it, so let's get started. Okay, so for the arm, you're going to pick whatever color you're using um, as a skin color. And you're just going to make a knot with a loop on the end. You can also use a magic circle if you prefer to do it that way. And we are just going to put our hook in our loop, grab our yarn pull up and through and do one chain and that is just going to secure our yarn to our loop it does not count as a stitch and we are for round one we are going to put six single crochets into this loop so one two three four, five, and six. Now grab a stitch marker if you are using one. Uh, for round two, we are just going to increase in each stitch around for a total of 12. So you'll be putting two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. So one and two in the first stitch. Three whoop, and four in the next stitch. five and six in the next stitch, seven and eight, nine and 10. And in the last stitch, 11 and 12. For rounds three to five, we are just going to do 12 single crochets all the way around. And I'm going to be counting um, consecutively because um, it'll be three rows, um, three times 12. So I'll be doing 36 
um, single crochets and then flipping my stitch marker every time I hit a set of 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, I'm having a time here, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that was one row. Flip your stitch marker. Now I'm going to keep on counting consecutively. Thirteen, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, oh, 21, 22, 23, 24, so that's two rows. Flip your stitch marker if you're using one and keep on counting. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. 32, 33, 34, 35, I must have counted wrong, 35 and 36. For round six, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase or decrease for a total of eight. So one and decrease for two. Three. Decrease for four. Five. Decrease for six, seven, and decrease for eight. And don't finish this last stitch because we are going to do our color change for the sleeve. So grab your light gray. And you're just going to tie that on. This will leave a tiny little step. If that does bug you, then you should tie off your um, skin color and then reattach your gray. But it's not really noticeable, especially if you're making the cape, you won't even know any difference, so. Okay, pull that gray color through to finish off that last stitch. And we are going to start rows 7 to 14, which are going to be 8 single crochets all the way around. And that's 8 rows. So for because I'm not using a row counter, I'm just going to make it um, uh, 2 sets of 4 rows. <laughs> this is going to sound confusing, but so I'm going to do 8 times 4 for 32, which is 4 rows. 8 times 4, which is 32, which is another 4 rows, which will equal 8 rows. You can go ahead and do um, count by rows if you want. I just find this to be easier. So we're going to 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 
six, seven, eight. So that's the end of a row. Flip your stitch marker if you're using one and I'm going to keep counting consecutively. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So that's another row. Flip your stitch marker. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. So that's another row finished. Flip your stitch marker. Thirty-one and thirty-two. So that was our first set of four rows, and we have four more rows to go. So I'm going to start counting back at one again. You can keep going. Uh, what is that? Six? Is it sixty-four? You'll need total. I'm going to go to thirty-two. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's one row done. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. That's our second row. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. That's our third row. One more row. One, two, three, Four, oops, five, I did this wrong now. Six, seven, and eight. I started counting it by in eights instead. If you're wondering why I don't do 64 um, and just do them all, it's like how often can you do 64 stitches without being interrupted? So I just split them up into 32s. Okay, now we're going to put a little bit of stuffing in the um, bottom part um, into the hand. Um, probably um, not too firm, kind of soft and squishy because um, people's hands are a little flatter than... than um, so I just put like about that much in. When you do your next arm, make sure you keep the stuffing about the same. And then, once you um, have enough stuffing, you're going to fold.
fold your piece in half and you're going to put three single crochets across the top making sure you're in both sides and under both parts of the V. So there's your one V there. Here's your other V here. This is your, your loop on your hook here. So you want it to look like this. And you're just going to go three across and give this a tug if it's loose. That'll help keep your arms um, less floppy when you attach them. And then you're just going to tie off Um, in the next frame, there will be a timestamp to bring you back to the beginning to do the second one. If you're on your second one, just keep on watching and skip past that and we'll move on to the head. To begin, we are just going to make a loop as if we were going to start a chain. So just wrap it around your finger, down and through. We're going to be putting six single crochets in there. So make it about just a little bigger than your hook. And we're going to put our, our hook in the loop, grab the yarn, pull through, and just do one chain to secure our yarn to our loop. And that does not count as a stitch. So for round one, we're going to do six single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab your stitch marker if you're using one, and I'm just using a piece of thread. And for round two, we're going to do six increases. So that'll be two st <clears throat> excuse me, stitches in every stitch around. So first increase, one and two. Increase, three and four. Increase five and six. Increase seven and eight. Increase nine and ten. And our last increase, eleven and twelve. Flip your stitch marker and for round three we are going to be doing one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18 and we'll repeat that all the way around. So one increase two and three and then repeat that sequence four five and six Seven. Increase eight and nine. Ten. Increase eleven and twelve. Thirteen. Increase fourteen and fifteen. 16 and our last increase 17 and 18. For row four we are going to do two single crochets, one increase and repeat that all the way around. One, two and our increase. 
three and four. Five, six, increase, seven and eight. Nine, ten, increase for eleven and twelve. Whoops. Thirteen, fourteen, and our increase fifteen and sixteen, seventeen. 18, increase 19 and 20, 21, 22, and our last increase, 23 and 24. Row five, we're gonna do three single crochets one increase all the way around and repeat that for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and an increase, four, and five. Repeat that over. Six, seven, eight, and an increase, nine and 10. Eleven, 12, 13, and an increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18, and an increase for 19 and 20. 21, 22, 23, and 20, whoops, 24 and 25. 26, 27, 28, and our last increase, 29 and 30. Row six, we are gonna do four single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. One, two, three, four, increase five and six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, increase 17 and 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, Increase, 23 and 24. 25, 26, 27, 28, and increase for 29 and 30. 31, 32, <clears throat> 33, 34, 
and an increase, 35 and 36. Whoops. For round seven, we're going to do five single crochets, one increase, repeat that all the way around for a total of 42. So one, two, three, four, five, and our increase, six and seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, increase, thirteen, and fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, increase, 20, and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, increase, 27 and 28, 29, whoops, 30, 31, 32, 33, and our increase, 34 and 35. This should be our last set, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, and our increase, 41 and 42. For rows eight, to 14, we are just going to do 42 single crochets all the way around, and that'll be seven rows. I'll do the first row with you. Oops. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 30, oops, 36, 37, 
There we are, and it's catching here. 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. Okay, so that would have been row 8. So you're just going to keep continuing on, row 9 to 14. Um, so that'll be six more rows. And I will come back and catch you up when we're ready to start row 15. Okay, you should be ready to start row 15, which is going to be five single crochets and one decrease. And you'll repeat that all the way around for a total of 36. So one, two, three, four, five, and we'll do a decrease for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, decrease for twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and a decrease, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, decrease 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, decrease 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, whoops, 31, 32, 3, 34, 35, and 36 is a decrease. Row 16 is going to be four single crochets, one decrease all the way around for a total of 30. So one, two, three, four, and five is a decrease. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 is a decrease, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 is a decrease, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 is a decrease, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 is a decrease, 26, 27, 28, 
29 and 30 is a decrease. Row 17 is going to be three single crochets and one decrease all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and four is a decrease, five, six, seven, eight is a decrease, oops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve is a decrease, Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen is a decrease. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty is a decrease. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and twenty four is a decrease. Row eighteen is going to be two single crochets and one decrease for a total of eighteen. One, Two, three is a decrease, four, five, six is a decrease, seven, eight, nine is a decrease. Ten, eleven, and twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen is a decrease. Sixteen, seventeen. And 18 is a decrease. Okay, you should have the head done and then your two arms. And now we are ready to start attaching the arms. So you're going to take these, this last um, decrease out. We're going to change our color to gray. So you're going to do one decrease and then add your gray. Just tie it out in there a couple of times. And pull that gray through to finish the last stitch of the head. Okay. So to begin, you're going to do three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then grab one of your arms and with the string you left facing towards the front. You are going to do three single crochets 
through the arm and then through the head and make sure you're going in the next stitch and not in the same stitch that you just went through. So one, two, and three. And make sure you're getting through both sides of the V on the arm and the head. Now we're gonna do six single crochets and make sure you're going in the next stitch and not the stitch you just put through the arm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then grab your second arm, making sure the string is facing towards the front. And you're going to put three single crochets through the arm and through the head. Oh, my string. One. Two. And three. And then you should have three single crochets left. One, two, and three. Okay, so that was row 19, and you should have 18 stitches around. And for row 20, we are going to do two single crochets and one increase, and repeat that all the way around for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and four for your increase, five, six, increase, seven and eight, nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve, 13, 14, increase, 15 and 16, 17, 18, increase, 19 and 20, Twenty one, twenty two, and an increase, twenty three and twenty four. Okay, for rows twenty one to twenty three, you're going to just do twenty four single crochets all the way around, and I am going to do that um, consecutively, so it'll be three times twenty four, uh, seventy two stitches, I believe. Um, and flipping our stitch marker every 24. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 
21, 22, 23, 24. So that's one row of three. Twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. 35, 45, 46, 47, 48, and that's two of our three rows. Keep going one more time. 49 and 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, and 72. For row 24, we are going to do three single crochets and an increase for a total of 30. So one, two, three, and our increase four and five. And then we're just going to repeat that all the way around. Six, seven, eight, and our increase, nine and ten. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, and our increase, 14 and 15. 16, 17, 18. And our increase, 19 and 20. 21, 22. 23 and our increase 24 and 25 26 27 28 and our increase 29 and 30 but do not finish off 30 because we are going to be changing our colors Okay, so grab your red. I'm 
and you're just going to tie that on. Um, remember, this will leave a little step. So if you don't like the steps in your work, you are going to have to tie off your gray and then reattach the red. Um, the steps will look like this. So if you need those to be straight across, you're going to have to do it a different way. I'm going to leave your gray attached because we are going to use that again. Pull your red through and you're just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and when you get to your last stitch don't finish it because we're going to change the yellow now so leave those last two loops on your hook there's my yellow and you're just going to tie that on and leave the red because you will be using the red again And you're going to pull that through and finish the stitch and then you're going to start row 26 is yellow and it's just 30 single crochets all the way around just like the previous row one two three Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, whoopsie, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 
28, 29, and 30. And don't finish that stitch because we're going to be switching to red now. So you're just going to grab your red from down below. Um, cut your yellow. You're going to tie your yellow. I'm going to tie it to my red. You could tie it to your gray, I suppose. And then you're going to grab your red and pull it through. And now you're going to do 30 single crochets all the way around, just like before. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And don't finish that one off because we are going to add the gray back in. So you're done with the red. You can cut the red. Now I am going to tie my red onto my gray. Um, if you do do that, don't pull it tight because remember your gray is still attached down there. And if you pull it tight, you're going to scrunch this all up. So you just want to leave it kind of nice and taut across all your stripes. And give it a couple of ties, loose and then tighter as you go. And then you're going to pull your gray through and finish that stitch. Okay, row 28. You're going to do 30 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, for row 29, you're going to do um, one more row of 30 single crochets all the way around, but this time we're going to go in the front loop. So, 
Where's my thing? So this would be your next stitch right here. Um, this is the back loop and this is the front loop. So you're going to be coming down and up into the front loop. Okay. So in the front loop, one, two, three, four, five, well, ah, struggling here, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, <clears throat> 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. And then you are just going to do a single crochet, or a slip stitch, I mean, and you're going to tie that off. Whoop. You can just weave that in a little bit and then thread it out under these back loops and out into here where you won't see it because our next rows are going to be into these back loops right here. Okay, so you should have a guy that looks pretty much just like this. Um, before we get going too far down into his bottom half, let's um, stuff up his head so we can put his eyes in. And you're going to want to have his head fairly firm. Almost can't get that in there. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty close. You don't want to stuff it so tight that, see these stitches are starting to open up a bit on the bottom. So if they are doing that, make sure you're pushing up into his head and not down around his neckline there. Okay, let's go with that for now. And then you're going to want to find approximately where the center of his head is. So just kind of go in between the two arms as your guide. And I'm going to, I'm going to go there. Um, and then you're going to count, um, down 11 rows and we're going to put the eyes between rows 11 and 12. So your first circle here, that's row 1, 2, 3, 4, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So your eyes are going to go down here. So I'm just going to move that up one row. And now I'm going to count over three holes. So one, two, and three. And in that third one is where we're going to stick our eye. And I am using 12 millimeter eyes. Um, you don't, they don't have, yours don't have to be 12, but keep them pretty close unless you're going for a different look. One, two, three, so in that third hole. Have a look. If yours is stuffed differently, it might look a little different. You might have to rearrange them a bit. And then you want to have about four or five stitches. I have one, two, three, four on the top and one, two, three, four, five on the bottom. So I'm just going to take a little bit of stuffing out of there now and put the backs on my eyes. If you don't have safety eyes, you can always embroider your eyes. Ow! I think I just about broke a nail there. I don't know why I said ow, but okay. Get the other one in, listen for the clicks. And then you're gonna re-put your stuffing back in there. And just watch that when you're putting them in where the backs are, that you're not pushing the backs up like this, or your eyes are going to look funny and twist your and twist your stitches there. So make sure you're kind of going behind this, behind the post, and then pushing forward, just so you don't get that um, angle on your posts of your eyes. Okay. I'll put a little bit of stuffing in his body. Not too much because it'll make um, doing the leg part a little trickier. I just had that little extra so it can go in there for now. Okay. If you're going to be giving him a nose, just take a little, a little arm's length of um, your skin color. And thread that onto your needle. And just a row or two. And I think I'm going to go one row down. I'm going to go across about two stitches. So I'm going to go like this. So I'm in. There's two holes. And then I'm out. And I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times. Leave a bit of a tail for tying. Just to give them kind of like, don't pull that tight either because look what I just did. Just to give them kind of like a hint of a nose. I am not good with faces. So if you have a better way to do this, please do it your way. And if you feel like um, leaving a comment on how you did yours, um, feel free to do that too because there may be other people wanting a different kind of nose. Or a nicer nose. So I think I did that four times. And then I'm just going to tie this on one of the sides. Right close to the side. Because you're going to be pulling that in. And you don't want your knot to be up in here anywhere. So as close down there as you can get it. And then you're just going to pull that through the back somewhere. In that same hole. And then out the back. And be careful not to pull that too tight. Because you don't want your nose to go down and in. So I'm going to hold my nose while I pull this part out. And 
And hopefully I didn't make it look too funny. Just make sure you pull that knot in. I actually don't like that nose, but that is how it's going to be. I guess. And then just cut your ends off and let them bounce back in. And then you're going to want to grab your dark gray. And we will start the bottom half. So remember, you got to find these back loops. And you're going to tie a knot with a loop on the end. You want it to be fairly small, just big enough for your hook to fit in. You're going to want to find your first back loop of your previous round. So your stitch marker is right here. This was your last stitch right there. And this will be the first stitch that you're going to go in next. So insert your hook. I'm going to find my position here. And you're going to pull that through. And then you're just going to do, I don't know if you'd call it a slip stitch or a chain one, just to attach it. And then you're going to um, do, this will be round 30. You're going to do 30 single crochets all the way around into this back loop of row 29, I think. Oops, get that out of my way. So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, whoopsies, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and your last one, 30. Okay, for rows 31 and 32, you're just going to do 30 single crochets all the way around and you're just going to go in the regular way you're done with your back loops. So you're going to go in this first one here. One. Two, three, four, five, six, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. So that's one of our rows of 30s. So we have one more row. Row 32. Row 1. Yeah. 2. 3. 4. 5. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, oops. Round sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, and thirty. Okay, row 33, we are going to do yeah, three single crochets and one decrease for a total of 24. So one, two, three, and our decrease for four. Five, six, seven, and our decrease for eight. Nine. 10, 11, and our decrease for 12, 13, 14, 15, and a decrease, oh, I lost count. If that happens to you, you can just start going one, two, three, decrease. That's what I'm going to do. One, two, three, 
and our decrease. One, two, three, and our decrease, and we should be at 24. No, oh, stand up. <laughs> okay, so if you're a regular viewer or subscriber of mine, you're not going to be surprised about what is about to happen. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm just going to give you a quick explanation. So, to save myself time, I am going to pop in, um, in brown, for this guy that I did, a previously used video of his legs, from how to center it, how to get started, and then rows one to six. And then the last four rows, I'm going to pop in probably just a little, um scroll along the top to change color when you get to the last four rows and do them in black and so it will look like this so you do one to six of the leg change your color to black and then follow but i'll still be doing brown in the video right to the end and i will see you back once we get uh, done the feet. So to get started on the legs, we're just going to set ourselves up with the right amount of stitches and put our little markers in that we need. So you're going to find your center, fold it in half. And you want to find the center on each side. So I'm going to go about there. So this will be the back side. Where's my needle? This will be the back side and then this stitch will be the front side. And we are going to count 12 stitches from this stitch, or I mean six stitches from this stitch over. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And this will be the end of your first leg. And you're going to go into the seventh stitch and just place your needle in there for now. And that'll be the first stitch of your second leg. So now we're going to count 12 for the second leg, starting with this first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Put the other end of your needle in there or whatever you're using. And we're just going to tie a string on there so that when we're doing the first leg, we don't touch this second leg at all and go in the wrong stitches. And I'm just going to um, tie a little bow there. However you do it, make sure it's easy to undo because you're going to start running into some space issues when you start getting the going on the legs. So now you should have 12 stitches on this side and 12 stitches on this side. And don't worry how it looks. We got this kind of loose over here. They will be even once we get going. Okay, for row one of the leg, we are going to put 12 single crochets all the way around. And you may be a touch off um, on your stitch count with me. That's okay, as long as you have sti 12 stitches going around. So for me, it's one, two, and we don't go into this stitch. That's where our stitch marker is. We turn around. We don't go into this stitch where our stitch marker is. We'll go into this one. So for me, it's three, and you can pull that tight if you need to. Four. Well, that one definitely needs to be pulled tighter. Five. Six. Seven. 
eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And that should bring you right back around to put your next stitch in your next row where your stitch marker is. Okay, so rounds five to six, we're just gonna do 12 single crochets all the way around. So round two, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Move your stitch marker. So round three, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, and 12. Flip your stitch marker. Round four, we'll do another 12 all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Round five, another twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve, and our last row, row six. One, two, whoops, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So that'll be that was row one to six. Now for row seven. We are going to do one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18. So one, two, and three for our increase. 
four, increase, five and six, seven, increase, eight and nine, ten, increase, eleven and twelve. 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and our last increase, 17 and 18. For row 8, we're just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around. So 1, 2, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Now we're going to add our stuffing. You're going to want this to be a bit on the firm side because he's going to be standing on his legs. And you may have to go up in here a little bit um, just so you don't have like a, a kink or a crinkle there in the leg. And when you get to the end of your leg, you want the stuffing to be straight across, kind of flat, even. Ooh, I'm getting that up in the tummy instead of the leg. Kind of even, so it's straight across here. I think I'm going to have to up that a little bit. Because you want this to be flat when you close it and, and not round. And he will kind of stand up on his own if you manipulate him a little bit. You can always add a little bit extra once you're done um, the last round before you close up if you need to. Let's see how this goes. I have enough already, but that might be in my way. Okay, for the next round, we're going to be going in the back loops. So, instead of going through here, like we've been doing our normal stitches, we are going to go down through this V in the middle, and we're going to be coming up oops, through that stitch right there. Okay, so for round nine, in the back loop, we're going to do one single crochet and one decrease for a total of five stitches. So one, and two is a decrease. is a decrease. Try not to get the stuffing as you're going in. Five. And six is a decrease. Seven. 
8 is a decrease. is a decrease. 11 and 12 is a decrease. Now I'm going to just add a little bit more stuffing before I do my last row here. Make sure it's staying flat and you're not adding too much, but uh, this is fairly firm. Okay, for row 10, you're just going to do six decreases. And we're going to go how we would normally go under both loops of the V. So one decrease. Two decreases, oops, three decreases, oops, I lost my string there somehow. So you keep going, I'm going to catch up. Four decreases. Five decreases. And six decreases. And then you're just going to put a slip stitch in the next stitch. And pull yourself a little bit of a tail to tie around. And then we're going to stitch this up. So thread your um, yarn onto your needle. And I'm going to go through the um, front loops. Cinch that up and pull it nice and tight. Find a spot where you can tie it and hide your knot down inside. And I'm only going to do one because I'm going to be tying both legs together um, back here or back here in the body so I don't have to worry too much about the confidence of that knot because I'll have a better knot up here. And you're just going to pull it through somewhere near the center in the back of your um, little, little character. Until you pull that nice and tight. And then we'll start on the other leg. Okay, you're just going to make a little loop on your string, but leave yourself a tail of about I don't know, 12 or so inches long because you're going to use this tail um, to sew up this hole that's left here at the end. So you want to make it just a, a, about the size of your, your hook to fit in there. And on the back side, you are going to come in the next stitch from where you marked your um, leg stitch for the second leg. And you're going to grab your yarn. You're going to pull that loop through. And you're just going to do a slip stitch. And then you're going to start your 12 single crochets with your first one 
in that same stitch you just slip stitched in. So for round one, 12 single crochets all the way around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now your stitches might be different than me. Um, my 11th stitch is going to be going where I marked that stitch for the second leg. So for me that's 11. Then you're going to turn it around. And you're going to go in your 12th stitch. Is where your other side of your marker is. And pull that tight. You don't want it any looser than it needs to be. It's a little tricky, but just take your time, get it right. Okay, so that's 12. I'm going to take out my marker. You don't need it there anymore, and I'm just going to use it as my new stitch marker for the second leg. And make sure you keep this string out so it's easy to get to when you're um, finishing off. Alright, so stitch marker. And now we are going to do um, rows 5 to 6. Um, 12 single crochets and then continue on for the foot, but I'm going to do that off camera and I will just put a little um, screenshot after this um, Into the next frame and you can finish that on your own and then we'll come back and close up and tie off these arms Okay, we should all have something that looks like this. We're done down to his feet. And now we'll just put in all our ties. So for the legs. Get my strings together here. You're going to take your black threads from your feet and you're going to pull them down so you can flatten out the bottoms a bit. I'm going to give them a little tie, fairly tight, so you're pulling them bottoms down. part I'll just put in my little plug for uh, if you're enjoying my videos make sure you subscribe um, and you will get a notification every time I upload a video um, you can give me a like if you want or send me a comment Maybe there's something that you would like me to change or that you really enjoy. And you're going to take your string um, from your tail of your second leg and we're going to use that to close up this little hole between his legs and you're just going to go in And then out that side, so just like that. 
I'm going to turn them around. My shadows are really not good here today. And then just go on the next stitch beside that. And then just give it a little tug. And you go back and forth a couple of times just like that. And then give it a tie when you're on the back side. And stick that through and about somewhere. I gotta change my camera angle here. I'm just blinding myself with these lights. Okay. So for your arm strings, you thread your needle and you're gonna put the string down and through one of your last stitches where you came, where you attached that. Bring that out back in the middle somewhere by his neck. And then do the same with the other side. Find where you came out of. Now this one I'm up in the white so I'm going to take it into the gray. Through the back and out the same spot where you took the other thread. And you're just going to give them a pull so that you're pulling this knot inside of his. You'll probably feel a little pop as you do that. Not on that one, I didn't. And then you'll see his arms kind of come forward and they're not quite as floppy. And then you're just going to give that a couple ties and you will thread that down and out through his back. Or her, I guess, depending on which one of these guys you are making. And there we go. He should stand. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to make this three parts, um, this being part one, the hair being part two, and the um, jacket and scarf being part three. So if this is the end of part one, there will be links down in the description for the next part. Um, if I can do it quick enough, I will put the hair in this part and you just keep on watching and we'll go straight on to that part. Okay, for the hair cap, we are just going to make our knot with the loop on the end. And you're going to grab your yarn, pull it through, through your chain one to attach the yarn and then we are going to do six single crochets into the loop. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Grab a stitch marker if you are using one. 
And for round two, we are going to do six increases all the way around for a total of 12. So one and two, three and four, five and six, seven and eight, nine and 10, 11 and 12 in the last stitch. For row three, we are going to do one single crochet and one increase for a total of 18. So one, Increase two and three, four, increase five and six, seven, increase eight and nine, ten. Increase 11 and 12, 13, increase 14 and 15, 16, and increase for 17 and 18. For row four, we are going to do two single crochets, one increase, repeat that around for a total of 24. So one, two, increase three and four, five, six, Increase seven and eight, nine, ten, increase eleven and twelve, thirteen, fourteen, increase fifteen and sixteen. 17, 18, increase 19 and 20, 21, 22, and an increase, 23 and 24. For row five, we are going to do three single crochets and one increase for a total of 30. And at the end, we are going to chain one and turn and we'll be done working in the rounds. So one, two, three. And an increase, four and five. Six, seven, eight. And an increase, nine and 10. 11, 12. 13 and our increase 14 and whoop, and 15 16 17 18 and our increase 
19 and 20. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, and our increase twenty four and twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, and our increase twenty nine and thirty. And chain one and turn. I gotta check my lights here. There's so much shadows. We're gonna start working around this way and going back and forth. We are gonna do four single crochets and one increase, but we're gonna stop when we hit 34 stitches. So one, two, three, four and our increase five and six seven eight nine ten and our increase eleven and twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, and our increase, 17 and 18, 19, I get through both of those? That felt weird putting that in that stitch. 19, 20, 21, 22, and our increase, 23 and 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and our increase, 29 and 30. And then we're just gonna do four more. One, two, three, four, and then you're gonna chain one and turn. For row seven, we are gonna do five single crochets and an increase, but we are gonna stop when we hit um, 38 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, and our increase, six and seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and our increase, 13 and 14. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and our increase. 20 and 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and our increase, 27 and 28. 29, 30, 
33, our increase, 34 and 35, and three more, 36, 37, and 38. And then you're going to chain one and turn. For row eight, we are just going to do 37 single crochets across. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36 and 37 and chain one and turn. For row nine, we are going to skip the first stitch and then we are going to do 34 single crochets. So we're not going to go in this one. We're going to start in this one. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 and 34. Chain one and turn. For row 10, we are going to skip the first stitch and then do 32 single crochets. So skip this one and start in this one. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, and 32. And chain one. Oop and turn. For row 11, we are going to skip one stitch and we are going to do 30 single crochets. So skip this one and 30. One, oops, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Chain one and turn. For row 12, we are going to skip one stitch and do 29 um, single crochets. So skip the first stitch and then 29. One, two, three, four, five, whoops, do that again, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 
29. Chain one and turn. For row 13, we are just gonna do 29 single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, and twenty-nine. Chain one and turn. Row 14, you are going to skip one and do 27. So skip one and then 27. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, whoops, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27. Chain one and turn. For row 15, you are going to skip one and do 26 single crochets. So skip your first one and 26. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25 and 26. Chain one and turn. For row 16, you're going to skip one and do 25 single crochets. So skip your first stitch and do your 25. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, and twenty-five, chain one, and turn. Um, for row 17, you're going to skip one and you're going to single crochet 24 single crochets. So skip your first one and 24. We're almost done, guys. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, chain one and turn. Okay, we got two rows left and they are gonna be decrease crease rows. So we're gonna skip the first stitch and then we're gonna do two single crochets and a decrease till we hit 17. So skip your first stitch one, two, and three is a decrease, four, five, and six is a decrease, seven, eight, and nine is a decrease. Ten, eleven, and twelve is a decrease. Thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen is a decrease. And two more, 16 and 17. Chain one and turn. For row 19, we're gonna skip the first stitch, do seven decreases and then a slip stitch. So skip your first stitch, one decrease, Two decreases, three decreases, four decreases, five decreases, six decreases, and seven decreases. And then you're gonna slip stitch there and you're gonna tie off 
leave yourself a long tail um, at least an arm's length I usually do two but and then I get way too much but um whoops I don't even have that in okay so now we are gonna pin his hair onto his head you want to have or for me for my personal preference I wanted to make it so his um, part was in the middle and then his bangs kind of swept to the side and you're gonna want to bring his bottom of his head hair head <laughs> I don't know bottom of his hairline one or two stitches up from his neck and then kind of play with it over up here decide how much forehead you want and then you're just going to pin that oh I can't even reach this okay so I started by pinning down in the bottom better about one stitch row up this is just to help it stay in place when you start sewing you may have to move it around a bit before you get started and depending on how much you stuffed his head you may have to kind of stretch it a bit if you're going to brush it um, unlike this one it's not going to matter as much because you can pull the hairs down but if this is for a younger child that will be playing with it and handling it his hair will get matty so keep that in mind when you um, decide which way you want to do do his hair Oops, Harry had a tip over. Okay, so, and then after I had the bottom done, I just put a pin up in the top where I wanted his hairline to start. And then each, um, each little kind of peak, I put down into a row. So maybe down here. You might need one there. We'll see after. Uh, while I'm doing this, I have had a couple people ask me if I have a pattern for this little pin cushion guy. Yes, I do. If you go on my, um, if you click on my picture, and it will take you to um, my YouTube channel play page you just and then you just go down and find the playlist that says quick and easy and his little name is Swifty and you will find him down in there if you want to make him or her I guess it's probably unisex I guess <laughs> he's supposed to be some kind of space slug so who knows um Okay, so you're going to sew that on. Make sure when you are sewing it, you're going along with the hairline, down into the head, and then up through the hair. And you're not going around like this, down and around, because then you will see those stitches. And it'll look much neater if you are sewing like this, then like this, this. Takes a little time, but... It is worth it in the end. I don't think I have. I don't have one sewn that I can so show you. Do I? Um, maybe this girl's eyes. So if you see, you can't see the stitches because I've gone all around this way. And her stitches are down underneath her eye there.
Um, okay, so sew that on and then I'm going to use the leftover string because I have lots to come in and do his eyebrows. Um, and then I will show you what I use to brush his hair. And then we're almost done this guy. Oh, I just found a great example of what I meant by uh, sewing under. So this little goat here. This was one of the first ones I made and see I instead of going along this way I went around the stitch and you can see all the little lines on the outside which kind of works for this one but I mean I don't think you want that on the hairline but I mean up to you guys as always use your own creativity Okay, I've got all around his head and then I still have lots of yarn left. So I'm going to use this color to do his eyebrows. And I've marked his um, eyebrows out. Uh, what did I do? I went on the line above his eyes. I went, um, there's a hole and then the next hole. And then I just went the next stitch up. Um, kind of not quite at the edge of his eye, so just a little bit inside. And then I match that up on this side. So let's get our needle, hopefully, up in there. I'm going to try and get here. Oh, there we go. Go in where your other needle was and over to where this pin is. And then you're going to go over to where this pin is. And then you're going to take that out the back somewhere. Somewhere in the hairline so you can tie it in and not see where you've tied it. Make sure you've got these how you want them. And remember when you do tie your knot, not to... Um, Tighten the first one too tight so you're bringing your eyebrow um, so you're sucking your eyebrow into the into his face there on the other side. Oh, I didn't turn my lights on. And then just hide that in somewhere. Okay, so we're gonna give this guy a little black mouth. And I am going to go, um, so here's a nose, one row, two rows down, and about four stitches apart. I'm going to try and go around by the nose. So here's just below the nose a bit. And then one, two, three, and then in. And then you're just going to tie this um, end here and pull it through the back. Just 
just anywhere. Making sure you don't pull too hard on your mouth. You might want to hold it there for a minute. Oops, okay. And then I will just show you how I gave his face a little sculpting and kind of tied his neck um, so it's a little it's a little thinner like this. So you're going to use these um, stitches um, from when you attach the arms to find your center. So it'll be three stitches, one, two, three. So this is your center. So I'm going to go um, on the third stitch from his this arm. And I'm going to go up just under his eye on the left side. Leave some string down here at the bottom. And then I'm going to go over to um, the right side of his eye. And then I'm going to go all the way over here, opposite of what I just did. So I'm going to come on the, the far side. So this will be his far left side now. And then the stitch right under his eye on the his right, um, our right side. And then you're going to come down right into that stitch that'll be the third stitch over from his arm. Now, if you can, you want to have your these strings kind of even so you have enough room to do around his neck. So then you're just going to pull this down however you want it. If you want his eyes to come a little closer together, just watch that this, see this eye is tipping a bit. Just watch that. Now, if you want, you can tie this if you want to save your shape, but you're going to have to go um, underneath the stitch here. So, if, so it's tied on the inside, and then bring that back through. Now, you got your strings where you want them. Now you're going to be weaving one string one way, in and out. So just in and out along your last, right where your gray meets your white or your skin color. So you get to about the center. Uh, I'm going to make that the center. <clears throat> then you're going to do the same thing with your other chunk of yarn. And you're just going to go in and out. And you want to come out the same stitch. So the other three I made work perfect, but I've done something different here. So I'm not going to come up this stitch because I want the knot to be on the inside. I'll come up the next stitch where my yarn is. And then you're going to give it one tie and you're going to give it a good pull. So you can watch this neck come in. I don't know how to show it on here, but... Let's see how his neck will kind of come in. Be careful not to break your yarn because you're going to have to start all over. And then when you have it where you want it, just give it a couple of knots. Um, 
while I'm doing this, um, I'll just remind you, don't forget if you like my videos to hit the subscribe button. That really helps me out. You can also hit um, the like button or um, leave me a comment. Um, I also have a Facebook page, craft page, that I have pinned at the top, a little YouTube share post. And you can go there in the comments and you can share whatever you've made with me from my videos as well. Don't forget, I don't think I've showed much in this video, but anything in the background here, I have a video of. So any, if you see something you want to make, just go to my, um, click on my picture on my, um, I don't know where it is on YouTube, actually. But just click on there, and it'll take you to my channel page, and you can uh, scroll through the playlists. Um, all the little stuff that doesn't take long is in the quick and easy playlist. And then most of the, or all of the bigger things, are in Amigurumi. Now, if you want to brush his hair, so it looks more like this. What I use is um, one of these pet brushes. They are a little bit more on the expensive side. So if you don't want to go out and buy one, there's also these little, um, I don't know what they're called, but I've always used them like to remove old paint. Um, like as a, to sand it off or when you got chipped paint and stuff. Um, and they're just at any um, hardware store in the paint section. You might be able to find them in a dollar store. I have yet to see it, but it could be possible. So I think we're done. Um, thanks for watching. This has been part one. Part two is already done. Um, that is the the robe and the little scarf and it will be down in the description below as well as any other links once I get um, her done she'll be down there as well and then I'll decide if I'm doing any more um, you guys all have a great day thanks for watching stay safe and happy crocheting